but you've talked about your prior cancer diagnoses, both thyroid and testicular yeah. cancer. How are you doing with respect to those? Oh, I'm in remission on both, which is absolutely yeah. amazing. And to to re revisit what you were alluding to, Dr. Melamed, you know, as both an orthopedic surgeon and spine surgeon, the importance and the effect of getting to a better weight for people, the impact of carrying too much weight, excess weight, on their bones, on their back, on their joints. I mean, just dropping some weight will have a huge so, impact. But let's say you I know do that, that wasn't Drew. you. So let's say you do all that, like Tark did. So then you get the stem cell treatment. What, in your mind, what's going on there? Okay, so for example, with the stem cell, there's a lot of like uh, unknowns about it. You know, the people, you have the liposuction, People take it from the iliac crest, you know, people from the bone marrow. Now we have amniotic stem cells, which is like live amniotic stem cells getting from the umbilical cord. You know, I had my own father injected with those recently and he's starting to see results in his knees. So we're very excited, but we don't know long term. Like, do you repeat it in a week? Do you repeat it in a month? Do you repeat it in two months? I mean, nobody really Still knows the Still experimental in many ways. In some say, ways, right? but very importantly, it cannot do, should not do any harm. But also at the same time for spine, like uh, some conditions are not amenable to stem cells. You can't say, oh, I'm gonna cure you with stem cells for everything. Well, like what you had, Travis, there's no way stem cell was gonna work for that. When you have bad pinching, you have to go undo that. So it's not the answer for everything. My experience with my knee, I had both stem cells for my fat. They did a little lipo on me. I had stem cells from my iliac crest injected into my knee and didn't do it, didn't cut it. I ended up having to partially replace that knee because I had gotten to a point where it was too much, bone on bone, not going to work in that scenario. But, yes. it's, yeah. but sometimes you have nothing to lose by trying something yes. that's very, right. uh, very minimum. But, but sometimes as I said, certain, like spine, if you have like your uh, vertebrae slipping very bad or you have a bad scoliosis or you have bad, like getting weakness in your arm, you know, or numbness or down your leg, you gotta like do something. Stem cell is not gonna, is not gonna help that, basically. Yeah, absolutely. So from my understanding, what it does is it goes in and it searches your body for any damage and inflammation, because like you were saying earlier, one of the biggest, biggest causes of injuries in the body and all these different issues is caused by inflammation. So that's why I have cleaned up my diet. I am taking a lot more vitamins. I'm drinking a lot of juice. And then obviously I did the stem cell, so. Mm -hmm. I, a, I sure, a sure I, sign that you're in midlife is that you're a juicer now. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, before we go, feeling better physically, how is, how's life? How's, I know you're back doing flip or flop. How, how's your relationship, all this stuff? How's life? Um, okay, I can walk again and I'm healthy, so that's good. Um, but other than that, yeah, no, we're still, we just, we're finishing up filming season seven. And that's a really, really, um, great season, probably my favorite. With the, there might be a little bit of divorce couple conversation. I was gonna say, how does that play out? But it also is probably great for your kids to see you guys working together and having an amicable relationship. I mean, yeah, I can imagine I, that's really important. No, absolutely. Like we do school functions, we sit with each other, we go to sports games, we all stand right. together, and um, it's really important for the kids to know that. But other than that, just still working on the business out here. Um, filming Flip or Flop and working on possibly shooting a different show and might be continuing Flip or Flop. So Exciting. Okay. Exciting. We'll see. Well, I think you're a poster child for when, you're, when your physical health ails you, it's really hard to be happy no matter what else is going on in your world. We're really happy that you're feeling better and good luck with the show and everything else. Thank you. Dr. Melamed, always a pleasure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. you can catch Flip or Flop on HGTV on Thursdays at 9 p.m.